Hey guys, what's up? Patreon Butthead Man here again, and uh, uh, let's get ready for part three of how to build a Luigi Toast inspired Sonic character's uh, Knuckles. So, uh, that's my personal favorite character. I love Knuckles. Um, I know uh, the fan favorite is Shadow, but I like Knuckles. He's awesome. So, okay. So, first off, you're going to need a big 2x3 red brick, not a flat one, a big one. And it's just going to be right, we're just going to want to set it like this, it goes this way, I think, right? Uh, yeah, okay, so you're going to want to turn upside down, and then you're going to want five, instead of one this time, you're going to need five of these red uh, square cylinder pieces with the holes. And one of them is going to go just right there, face down like that. Um, just like, um, you know, where the neck is, where the neck goes. And these ones are going to be turned this way. They're going to go sideways. Like this. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. There, so see the holes are facing out like that. And then... Get a, another uh, red cylinder, uh, no, square cylinder brick, uh, r but no hole this time, and then just stick it right there like that. Then start working on the face, same way. Two white one by twos flat. Just go right there. That. Peach cylinder. The black stud at the end, I guess I didn't take that off when I took them apart, so we'll just put it right there. Black studs for the eyes. And you don't need the foot pieces because Knuckles never shows his ears. I'm sure he has them, but they, they're covered by his dreadlocks. Like that. Wait, wait. Like that. Okay. And then you're going to want two of these bendy pieces red flat um if you have them um if not um i guess you could always just use ones like this but these would be preferred so see how they're connected and they bend and you're just going to want to stick them in those holes on the side that's why we had the we needed those pieces come on and then another one and flip them over and stick it right there. Wait, sorry. Right. Damn it. There. Okay, he just fell apart. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Like I said, it's hard to build um, and hold my phone at the same time, so gotta bear with me here. Okay, so there's part the first part of his dreadlocks. And I think I'll wait till he's done to put the other two on because then it'll make it easier to put the other pieces on. So, okay. Next, get a flat, uh, two by two by two red flat piece like this. And if you have a red uh, full piece like this with uh, this thing at the end, then you can use that or uh, two one by twos and a flat one like that. Um, and put them on top of each other, and that'll work. Um, and then a two, one by two with the hole in the middle. Now his hands are going to be a little different than the other ones because he's got his big knuckles, which are a little bigger than the other ones. His gloves, so I did it a different way. So first, get a flat one by six and stick it right there like that. Then get two white one by twos and stick them in one corner at the end like that. So then you flip it over and you can see how it was, how it was done. Then two one by twos and stick those right there and right there. And then to hold it together so it doesn't fall off, two one by fours and just stick them so hold them together, right there, and there.
there, like that. Now, for the leg, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, now for the legs, same thing, two flat one by twos, two of these in red. Well, I guess I don't need to explain the colors because you can see it. It's not like direct, well, yeah. Anyways, so just stick them on there like that. And then on top of those, I did I did this neat thing. Um, it, it didn't do it to the other ones, but if you have um, two of these green uh, triangle pieces, you, you can use those, or you can you just use green studs. Um, light green would work best, but you can do dark green if you want. And just stick them on there like that. And then two flat one by one square pieces. And then two flat uh, square yellow pieces. Stick them on there like that. Two more of the red square cylinder pieces, stick them there, and there. And then you have Knuckles' really unique shoes. His shoes are different than anyone else, any of the other characters, so, yeah. And then you're just going to want to stick those right there, and right there. And then, oh, I forgot, then you'll also need, of course, the, uh, cylinder the black cylinder technic piece I now know these are called technics so I never knew that before but that's a term that I guess they've come up with um oh no wait actually I think technic was a set wasn't it so yeah okay and then just stick it in like that now we're almost done the last step is to take two of oh no wait wait actually before we do that then get a one by two white piece and just stick it on his chest like that. And he doesn't have uh, any fluff, but he has a like a ring neck collar type thing that's painted, not painted on there, but printed on there. So anyways, and finally, two one by fours and just stick them in the back like this. Come on. There we go. And as you can see, now Knuckles has his cool dreadlocks. Because they're he doesn't have spikes, he has dreadlocks that come down. So, uh, yeah. Um, there you go. And there's uh, Knuckles. So, in part four, we'll build um, Tails, uh, my least favorite character. But I know a lot of people like him, and uh, even the person who I'm making this video for, um, their username is Miles Prower. So, I know that, so apparently that means they really like uh, Tails, Miles Prower. Miles Tails Prower. So, yeah. So, that's the next person we'll build, and this is Futurama Butthead Man signing off.